In this video, I'm going to continue the little series on multiples of vectors. So in this one, I will show you just one fairly simple example of taking a vector and multiplying it by negative 2 and how to sketch this new vector. Okay. So let's take a look. Say you are given the vector whose components are, again, 2. Actually, let me color code this again. So let's say 2 is blue. And then let's make the y component the 3 here, OK? So these are our components. x is 2, y is 3. So first step, draw the coordinate system. as follows, here we are, this is our y-axis, this is our x, mark these axes with some numbers, so we'll mark this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we'll mark the vertical as 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Once we have the coordinate system constructed and we have the axes labeled, and I've chosen to call each two boxes one, so everything is big and easy to see, draw the vector. So the x component is positive 2. So you draw the x component that lies along the x-axis and it looks like this. Okay, This is the x component of the vector, right? And let's mark the y component, so that's positive 3, so you draw up 3. There we are. Now, we connect lastly from the origin to the end of the red arrow. And this is the vector v. Right here, this is our vector. Okay, the vector v is the arrow from the origin to the tip of the red one. The blue or the x component is 2 and the vertical component is 3. Now that we have this in place, we are going to perform the following operation. Negative 2v. Okay, where do we begin? Well, first step... <clears throat> Let's once again build up a coordinate system. Now that we have that in place, let's mark the axes. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Okay. And now how do I know that I should be focusing on the negative axes? Because I've got a negative 2 multiplying my v. That's why. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's write down the following. Take your negative 2 and multiply by the original vector, step by step by step. So this is 2, comma, 3. Okay? So let's carry out this operation. We are using the distributive property. So what we have is negative 2 times 2, comma, negative 2 times 3. Okay? We've just multiplied the negative 2 into the components of the original vector v. So you've got your negative 2 times 2, negative 2 times 3. Let's mark these. Okay? So what is this telling us? This is telling us the following. Take the original x component, multiply by negative 2. Well, negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4, so you mark. 
Okay, mark the new X component and draw it clearly in big so it's easy to see. There you go. It goes to negative 4. And then mark the new Y component, which is negative 6. So that's negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Oops. All right, that can happen. And then this one here will be... Okay, we've had a slight collision of the axis here with the number, but that's all right. Okay, no casualties, so we, we can recover. Okay. Let's simplify this at the next line as follows. Negative 2 times 2 positive is negative 4. Negative 2 times the 3 is negative 6. So now we draw the new y component. So that points straight down, and its length is negative 6. So you mark straight down, negative 6. Oh, man, we are having some major collisions here. Okay. There we are. Once you've done this, the next step, mark. Draw a new vector from the origin to the end of the red arrow. like this okay and now this vector we have drawn here this is negative 2 V so this is the original V this is negative 2 V and the way to do it is as I've shown you step by step by step Unfortunately, we had a slight collision of the axes with this writing here, but we still managed to survive with a negative 4 and a negative 6 here. So thank you for watching, and I hope this has been helpful.